Hey everyone, this is Joe Stevenson. I'm here with Lesson Plan 4, Part 2. My number two assistant, speaking of number two, Athena. We are going to be working on the free arm spin out. The free arm spin out is applicable to so many other positions than just this one, but we're not going to go over that right now. We're going to go over to recover guard. And I'm going to tell you why they're going to posture up because I'm going to show you what you should be doing. You should always be focused on getting on top. If I'm on bottom, I should get on top. When I started doing jiu-jitsu in the 90s, it was all, well, 60% guy on bottom, 40% guy on top, because you got two legs and two arms and you can manipulate them. Well, as we've gotten better, it's more like 55% guy on top, 45% guy on bottom, and that's done because the top guy now knows what he's doing, so it changes. It's, not, not, it's 55% guy on top, 45% guy on bottom because now I can nullify your attacks. So now you're at a disadvantage because you're on the mat and there's more friction. I'm down on bottom. Athena has side control. I'm going to oop and bridge up. Get the elbow down. When I got the elbow down, I'm going to try to get the knee in, but I didn't have any luck. This hand, I'm going to take my thumb. I'm gonna put it in my partner's armpit. I'm gonna take my elbow and I'm gonna clamp down. And before I do that, I'm freeing this arm. This arm is gonna come in between my body. See, you can see the back of my hand on her arm. I'm going to use the thumb on the armpit. I'm gonna clamp down. I'm gonna walk my body down as I walk around like a clock. Ideally, I would elevate this leg and this arm and come up to a front headlock or catch a choke. My opponent knows that, so they posture up. I continue around to recover ball. So if I were to show you this, this time, this way, I'm going to oop and get my elbow back. Here and here, boom, but my knee didn't get in. My arm transfers across to the body as I secure this arm and clamp down. It's important to secure and clamp this arm because if I don't and I circle, she could just come up and go north-south. So we're here. Oofa, get the elbow down, boom. Control, bring the arm across, back of the hand, pushing my opponent up, scooting my body down, hold on. I've got to turn my head and get it out. Now, as I come here, they'll tend to come up. My hands are going to address her hips, and I'm going to create space, and I'm going to continue to circle and spin around to lock my guard. This is the free arm spin out. Very, it can be applied anytime somebody's trying to cut their knee down the middle. There's so many more things. And by the way, if you can't do that, most of the time you can turn back in and go to guard recovery number one. Thank you.